In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up an RNA-Seq project using Seqman Engine. Select the RNA-Seq transcriptomic section, then choose RNA-Seq under Quantitative Analysis. This will take you to the Reference Sequence page, where you can import your reference genome sequence. Here, you have the option to download the genome package that is hosted on the DNA Star website, or you can download a reference genome from the NCBI genome database. In the Input Sequences page, you have the option to specify the sequence technology, as well as the experiment setup. Once you have added your data, you can rename the sample by clicking on the sample name under the Replicate column. In this next page, you can group your replicates into replicate sets. To do so, select the individual replicates that you want to put into the same group, then choose Group Selected. Enter in a group name and click OK to complete grouping the replicates into a set. In the Setup Experiments page, you can specify the control. You can adjust the assembly option parameters as well as apply an adapter scan if needed. By default, the assembly options are optimized, so there's no need to change the parameters. In the Analysis Options page, you have the option to turn on or off variant detection by clicking the box here. In addition, you can change the normalization methods. Seekman Engine suggests a normalization method based on your experiment setup, but you can choose to use any of the normalization methods listed. The project name and folder for saving the output files can be specified in this next page. Finally, Seekman Engine automatically analyzes your input data and hardware and lets you know if your system can handle the assembly locally or if you should run it on the cloud. Every free trial and purchase of Laser Gene Genomics includes five free DNA Star Cloud assemblies. Additional assemblies are available to purchase online.